Thank you. So I, the message to everybody is I wanted, our, especially our guests, to take to heart what you just witnessed and understand how veterans feel. All right. Here we have a very special moment, and we're going to have two guests, and I'm going to start uh, with uh, Ro Khan is going to introduce the first one. Ro? I'm honored uh, to be able to introduce to you Senator Bernie Sanders. Senator Sanders, of course, we have Dr. Cornell West. Let me say three things about Senator Sanders. First, Senator Sanders chaired the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee and has fought for more veterans funding his entire right. career in the United States Senate. That's right. Second, he was one of the only and earliest voices to speak out about the illnesses that those soldiers had during the first Gulf War and to speak out to say that we needed the funding to study that and treat that. And third, you know, while our current president, you know, they often say about Senator Sanders that, oh, can he work across the aisle? Well, let me give you a concrete example. While our cousin, current president was dishonoring John McCain's memory, in contrast, Bernie Sanders actually worked with John McCain to get more funding, more hospitals, more doctors, and more access for the VA, and passed that in a Republican minority Senate. Yeah. Senator Sanders up that he will live out the ultimate vision that Dr. West has spoken about, that is Dr. King's prophetic vision of no more militarism, and when he is president there will be no more unconstitutional wars. Well, let me uh, thank you all for allowing me to speak to you. Uh, briefly, I, I think I got three minutes, is that it? <laughs> this is not the United States Senate. All right. Just uh, a few points. First, thank you all very much for your service. Uh, as Ro mentioned, when I was chair of the Veterans Committee, uh, we introduced, uh, with the support of all of the veterans organizations, the American Legion, the VFW, etc., the strongest piece of veterans legislation in the modern history of the United States of America. And it would have revolutionized the VA, would have opened the doors to the VA for far more people. It would have brought dental care into VA health care. It would have provided just a whole range of new services. Unfortunately, we got every Democrat to vote for it in the Senate. We only had two Republicans. 56 votes, we couldn't get what I wanted. But we did address some of the crises facing the VA of tens of thousands of vacancies in the VA which have to be filled. So we have a lot of work to make the VA the quality system that it must be to guarantee health care to all of our veterans. And in that process, we will not privatize the Veterans Administration. Right. Right. Way back when, after the Vietnam War, a great injustice was done to those people who fought in that war. And that war was a very unpopular war. It was a war that I opposed. But what happened is when the veterans came back, they were held responsible for a war that they never caused. All right? That was a war the politicians caused. And the lesson of that is never blame the men and women who do the fighting. If you don't like the war, blame the people who created the war in the first place. And I worry 
very much as somebody who strongly opposed the war in Iraq, somebody who was trying to get U.S. out of the Saudi-led intervention in Yemen, and somebody who will do everything that I can to make sure that we do not get our troops involved in a never-ending war in Iran. And as the former chair of the Veterans Committee, I have talked to a whole lot of people in the military. And it is the military men and women, not the politicians, who understand really what the cost of war is about. And you know and I know, it's very easy for Trump and his billionaire friends to be so tough. And we're going to go to war here, and we're going to go to war there. It is not their kids who's going to fight in those wars. It is the children of the working class of this country. So we're going to do everything we can. And I want to thank those who are here. I've received the, the highest awards of the American Legion and the VFW, and I very much appreciate it. We're going to do everything we can to improve the VA, to make sure that our veterans get the benefits that they are due when they are due. And we're going to do our best to make sure that our young men and women never again get into a war which we should not be fighting. Thank you all very much. Come get your award. <laughs> the meeting will be in order. We still we we still got caucus to have here. I got it. All right.